In this video, we write a C program to find sum of two numbers using the concept functions with arguments and return value. What we do here in the main function, we call a sum function and also we send a arguments. Uh, we send two numbers to the sum function and sum function calculates the sum of two numbers and finally it returns the sum value. Now we see how to write the program here. Now I will call, sorry, in order to pass arguments, first of all we need to take those two numbers. So that's why I am taking two variables into A and B. I am reading A and B values. Enter A and B values. I am reading A and B values using scanf function. And then I am calling some function, also I am passing a and b values. I am calling some function as well as I am passing a and b values. Now we need to define some function. So I am writing some function. As I am passing two arguments, first argument is a, it is of type integer. Then in the some function also, the receiving variable should also be integer. And the second argument b that is that we are passing is also integer then the second argument must also be an integer type if you are confusing with the variable names then we can change here we can write as x y or we can write t q etc okay now what some function has to do here it has to calculate some value i am taking another variable integer c is equal to a plus c b or let us take without using a c variable we directly return return a plus a b what some function is doing here it is taking two values a and b and it is calculating a and b and finally it is returning a plus b value now then what should be the return type of the sum function here in the function definition we need to write return type then what should be the return type here it is returning what type of value a plus b a is integer value, b is integer value, then automatically addition of two integers, the resultant value is also an integer value, that means it is returning an integer value. Then we need to specify the return type of the sum function is integer. The return type of the sum function is integer. Why? Because it is returning integer value. Then in the main function, in the function call, it is getting a value, it is getting what type of value, it is getting addition of a plus b, then there must be a variable to receive that particular value. Let us take I am giving variable d, d is equal to sum of a comma b. Then what type of variable should be d here, as the sum function is returning integer value, d should also be an integer value. I am declaring d variable here and then I will print a d value printf sum is equal to percentage d d value and then we need to write function prototype here also what is the function prototype here the return type of the sum function is integer and the function name is sum and it is taking two arguments integer let us say i am writing same values here integer a comma integer b now i run this program It is asking for a and b values. Let us say I will give 11, 22 and the sum value is 30. Now what we have done here, this is the concept of function with arguments and a written value. In the main function, we have called a function sum and also we are passing two arguments. Now this function is called and the values are passed here. Now initially a values are 10 and 20. Now this a gets value, this particular a, now this a gets value 10, now this b gets value 20, this value is passed to this particular place and then some function is calculating a plus b, 10 plus 20 that is 30 and this 30 value is returned, to which place it is returned, to the calling place, this particular place it is returned, now this statement gets 30 
and this 30 is passed to day. Now the statement becomes day is equal to 30 and then we are printing and then here we are printing d value sum is equal to percentage d d in this fashion we are uh, we have written a uh, function with arguments and also the function is returning value now let us uh, briefly explain the concept here there is main function and there is some function main function is calling some function as well as it is passing two arguments let us take 10 and 20 and the sum function is calculating a plus b that is uh, it is calculating a plus b value that is 30 and sum function is returning this particular 30 value to main function to which place it has passed here to which variable it has passed to d variable now d variable in main function it gets value 30 and then we have printed a d value print a d value in this fashion a function with uh, arguments and function with the uh, written value can be written now in this example we discuss another point now observe here in the function prototype each and every time there is no need to declare variable name here there is no need to mention variable name in the function prototype simply it is sufficient to specify the types of those arguments in the sum function we are passing two arguments both arguments are of type integer then in the function prototype it is sufficient to specify only the data types there is no need to specify variable names that means uh, mentioning variable names in the function prototype is optional it is not mandatory now let us uh, try to run this program I will give 100, 200, so some value is 30, so we didn't get any problem. 